Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am collaborating with my dear friend Lisa from Lisa and Company channel. I absolutely love this girl. She is not only sweet, she is very funny and so talented. I encourage you guys to go ahead and check out her channel. You will love what you see. She recently moved into a new house and she's decorating it. So there's a lot of great inspiration on her channel. I'm going to have her channel linked in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out. Now for my first project, I am uh, going to use this lamp i purchased this lamp at gordman's probably 10 years ago and you will see over here i already redid it two times so i layered it uh, with some fabric that i wanted at that time the original fabric was kind of an animal print on a bottom that i didn't like to begin with so first thing i'm going to do is just peel off it was very easy i think i used a spray adhesive at that time uh, so it was very easy to peel off but it stayed for years so that's a good to know um, and then i'm taking off the original fabric that was on there it was pretty easy to do it was not um, hard at all um, so after i was done with that i had bare bones just the um, metal part uh, I decided to go ahead and clean it completely just to take off any dust or any residue uh, from uh, the glue and I took off the lamp uh, the bulb as well because I decided to later change it up and add the um, LED light inside. The fabric that I'm going to use to cover the lamp is this one. I actually purchased it a long time ago at Joanne's Fabrics. I wanted to use it for a um, pillow case and it is kind of a canvas fabric. Uh, I really like it. I like the color, neutral color. And the first thing I'm going to do is just iron um, the fabric. And after I was done with that, I am going to lay it down flat and I'm going to put the lamp uh, on the top of it and I will measure where um, I should cut and folding it over and just cutting the straight line. Next, I'm going to take this Dollar Tree craft glue. It says on the back that it can be used on fabric, so that's perfect. And I'm going to also use my hot glue gun. First thing, I'm going to um, see how to position it at the end and I'm going to clip off over here on both sides just a little bit so the middle part can go in. Then I'm going to apply the fabric glue or actually the craft glue all the way on a fabric and then I'm starting to use my hot glue. At first I used it on a fabric but then I decided to just add it on the uh, metal part of the lamp it was way easier to just attach it that way and make it secure so now over here you can see how it looks like that is going to be the beginning and the next step will be to just go ahead and wrap it all the way around i was making sure to um, pull it as much as possible i wanted it to be tight next step will be to apply the uh, boat glues again at the other end and I'm folding it just a little bit just to make it the end seamless and nice looking and then after I had that nice seam I um, was gonna attach it to the beginning of the this project or actually the beginning of the fabric uh, I am again like I said pulling it as much as I can because I wanted a nice and um, tight uh, lamp shade and then after that uh, as you can see over here i'm using both glues again that uh, seemed to be the perfect option after i closed it up i am showing you over here how i'm gonna do uh, the ends or actually just i'm tucking in the ends again using my uh, hot glue gun over here and uh, gluing the fabric to uh, the lamp um, frame and then after I did the top part, I did exact same thing on the bottom. And I'm going to show you now how the lamp looks like at this stage. So this is how it looks like. I think it really turned out good and tight as I wanted. So next, I'm going to take this elastic 
great elastic it is a very cute uh, ruffle uh, type elastic i got it at joanne's a long time ago when my daughter was um, little and i was making the bows for her hair um, and then um, i'm gonna just measure how much i need so i'm gonna cut this in half the great thing about this is that it's elastic so it can stretch out so the first thing i'm doing is just gluing the beginning with the hot glue and then i'm gonna attach the end as well so that way i can just work my way around it is way easier than to try to stretch it and maybe um, i come up short with the fabric i'm folding the edges again because i wanted it to look seamless now i'm just adding a hot glue at the corners that's going to be just enough i didn't want to put the hot glue all the way around and at this point over here you see how i messed up i actually twisted the fabric but it's not a big deal it is a hot glue and you know how easy it is to pull the hot glue apart so i just literally pull it twist it back again and the problem was fixed i did exact same thing on the top with the um, second part of the um, elastic ribbon and then this time i made sure it was not twisted now i am taking this uh, uh, white twine from the dollar tree and i'm gonna create uh, tassels i already showed many many times on my channel and i'm sure you saw that in other channels as well how to make tassels so i'm not gonna go deep into it over here i wrapped it around 10 times because i didn't want it to be too thick and i also wanted to create four of these exact uh, same length and same size so after um, i was done creating all four of them next step will be to attach them to my lamp i'm going to show you over here how i did it i um, all this project was actually uh, not completely thought uh, through so i was just winging it the way i went and at the end you will see the final result was amazing so uh, over here i'm just pulling it through the middle of the ribbon where i didn't glue hot glue it and then just gluing it a little bit like i showed over here and cutting off the excess um, of the tassel After attaching all four of them, now I took this little uh, pearl push pin kind of thing that I already had on my stash and I wanted to try how it's going to look if I just push it through uh, this tassel, not uh, gluing it or anything. And I really think it looks great, um, but the reason why I didn't want to uh, glue it is if we want to take it out, we can take it out. And this is how the lamp turned out. Guys, like I said, I wasn't sure how, how I want to do this, what I want to do about it, but it turned out so pretty. My daughter absolutely loved it, and I think it fits perfectly into her room. It is so cute um, it is contemporary but it is romantic and shabby chic all at once and i just absolutely absolutely love it i had everything on hand that i uh, needed to create this lamp so for me it was absolutely free um, but if you want to recreate it you see how easy it is to just change completely uh, the way your lamp can look and this is how it looked at night and i think it's just gorgeous if you're new to my channel and if you're coming from Lisa's channel, I want to welcome you. My name is Yelena. I am a stay-at-home mom of two kids. I love doing DIYs and crafts and create beautiful things for my home on a budget. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would like for you to come and check out my channel, my other videos and subscribe to my channel. It is absolutely free. I would just love to have you. Also, if you're on social media, I am on a Facebook, Pinterest and Instagram. I would love for you to look for me. If you come on Instagram, uh, that's where I post mostly um, beside my projects, uh, more about my family and things that we do together. 
If you stop by my Instagram, don't forget to check out one of my latest posts. I showed uh, two of my favorite uh, outfit types and uh, I also have a code for you guys for Miss Fox Boutique where you can uh, go ahead and shop these great looks. For my second project, uh, my husband actually purchased this at our local America thrift store. This beautiful mirror, it was $6.99, but it was 30% off. So I think it was a great deal. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do, just take off the tag and uh, clean it with a uh, glass cleaner. I absolutely love how this mirror looks like to begin with. So there's not gonna be a lot to uh, do on it or change it up. The only thing I'm gonna uh, do is uh, just to add a little touch of color to it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to take the Waverly chalk paint in a color silver lining, and I'm going to just dry brush it around this um, pattern, this rope type of um, thing that's going on around uh, the mirror. Like I said, I just wanted it to pop out a little bit. It was beautiful to begin with. Next, I'm taking this Arteza um, paint in a color um, papaya whip and again i'm doing the same thing and dry brushing it just around uh, the um, this rim or actually around this design that is on the mirror and the next thing will be to do exact same thing uh, with my rustoleum chalk paint in a linen white color When I was done with that, I turned it around um, and then this wire was attached as a hanger over here. I didn't want that. Uh, so what I decided to use was this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. I had a little piece left and it matches perfectly the um, front side, actually that uh, beautiful um, design on the mirror. So I actually took that uh, wire that uh, was previously on the mirror and I took one piece and just uh, pushed it through the uh, nautical rope and tied it around the um, hanging part on the back. And I did exact same thing on the other side. And then just to be uh, more secure, I added a hot glue on the back of the rope and attached it to the mirror. And that's it pretty much for this project. I am so in love with this mirror my daughter is at the age now where she wants to look at herself in a mirror all the time so this fits into her room perfectly and i didn't do much to this mirror i didn't change it much but sometimes less is more and that is true for this mirror so i really really hope you guys liked uh, my transformations i uh, hope you like what you see don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also share it on your social media and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed i would love 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 to have you don't forget to go ahead and check out lisa's channel you will love lisa she is such a sweetheart and i want to thank you for being here and um, watching my video and hope you have a great rest of the day i'll see you in my next one bye guys